What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 17. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the Superfina channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be in the description. We are reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 17. What am I doing? That was the title of the episode, right? What am I doing? I don't know why that episode was the title. I don't. I don't know why. Like, it seemed like everybody knew what they were doing. It seemed like everybody knew what they were doing. The thumbnail for the episode was Shun and his party, and we see them in the labyrinth. They're in the labyrinth, they're being guided, and they're being told about the nightmare of the labyrinth. They're fighting monsters, they're being told, explained about labyrinth sickness, and it makes sense, labyrinth sickness, which is when you're in the labyrinth, there's no light. You don't know how much time passes. You don't see the sun like rising, falling, you know, and you know, you get sick because you're just in the dark for so long, surrounded by monsters. You're paranoid, you're on edge. You, mentally and physically, you're wearing yourself down. And well, though, you do get sick because <laughs> Your mind and your body can't handle it, especially if you're not accustomed to a labyrinth filled with monsters. <laughs> Besides that, so the guy explains about that, and he also explains about the nightmare of the labyrinth. We think or know that the nightmare of the labyrinth is Kumoko. And Julius ran into the Nightmare of the Labyrinth, I believe. And the guide who's explaining about the Nightmare of the Labyrinth, he's saying that he ran into the Nightmare of the Labyrinth before. And I'm thinking, ooh, is this when Kumoko ran into the humans 15 years ago? And because he's talking about the Nightmare of the Labyrinth, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to run into the Nightmare of the Labyrinth because you've been talking about it. It's like a foreshadowing. This story does a lot of foreshadowing, a lot of hint hints, wink winks. <laughs> Anyways, we were right. The Nightmare of the Labyrinth did show up and it was creepy. It was just a bunch of glowing eyes surrounding Shun and his party. And there wasn't much dialogue. Like there was dialogue, but it was very big and creepy. Like it was like echoey and such. And it's, they were saying that <clears throat> They were saying hero, ruler, master, reincarnation, the end of the beginning, the end of the world. It's like, bruh, what are you trying to do? And because we heard reincarnation, the end of the world, I'm totally thinking this is Komoko because she knows that the world is going to end because she wants to prevent that because she doesn't want to die, right? If the world ends, she dies. So she's going to stop that world ending and reincarnation. Now, because the Nightmare of the Labyrinth said reincarnation, she was like, reincarnation, are you also reincarnated? And then that got him to think about the Demon Lord. Is the Demon Lord reincarnated? And the Nightmare of the Labyrinth was like, oh, you'll find out. We'll, we'll tell you later on. It's like, no, tell him now. <laughs> it's like, why are you teasing? Why are you being so vague? If you're going to be vague like this, why show up now? <laughs> But I know that this happened to pique interest, to make the mind go, to make Shun think about the whole world, about the demon lord, about reincarnations and whatnot. And this whole time, Oka-sensei was being calm. This whole time, she was being super calm. And it's like, huh, you know something. You know something! So these glowing eyes that we see surrounding Shun and his party, we learn that these are the vestiges of the Nightmare of the Labyrinth. And vestiges are like traces of something or something that's disappearing. So these are traces of Kumoko. I'm pretty sure these are traces of Kumoko. And because the vestiges made an appearance in front of Shun and his party, I'm wondering if Kumoko's gonna like link up with them later on. I'm not too sure when though. Is it gonna be on the next episode? Is it gonna be way later? Is it gonna be at the Elf Village? And I'm wondering if it's gonna be at the Elf Village because on the episode where Komoko was free from the labyrinth, 
where the vampire baby was about to be assassinated and it turned out to be elves that were going to assassinate it. Apparently, Kumoku was near an elf village because in this episode, episode 17, Shuna and the party exited the labyrinth using the hole that Kumoko's mom made. Yeah, the, the hole. <laughs> and when they exited the hole, they saw the elf village. The elf village was like right there. So I'm thinking, Kumoko is near elf village. So is she still there? Another thing I want to point out is Kumoko and the demon lord. We see Kumoko and she's talking about how her immortality helped her survive from the demon lord's attack because the demon like just destroyed her body. But Kumoko said that her soul could have been destroyed if the demon lord used the abyss magic. Now I was surprised by that. I was like thinking, what? You can still die? But it has to be your soul that gets killed off? I'm like, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> And another thing that's interesting is Kumoko knows that her soul can be killed by the abyss magic and she's going to try to figure out how to prevent that. She's going to try to reinforce her soul to survive abyss magic attacks and I'm like girl how are you going to do that? Like wouldn't you need to be attacked by abyss magic because that's how you gain skills right? By experience? Experiencing in that situation with those attacks of by those you know Right, right. Let me know in the comments what you think. Then after the credits, we see a scene of the demon lord with Kumoko's mom and she's checking Kumoko's mom's mind and she sees that Kumoko's parallel minds are still in there trying to destroy mom. And the demon lord's like, wait, I thought I destroyed that spider. That spider is still alive. If I see these parallel minds, that means that spider is still alive. How is that spider still alive? And this is where I'm thinking, okay, is this where the demon lord is going to figure out she needs to use the abyss magic to totally annihilate Komoko? Hopefully, she doesn't figure that out yet. But if she does, that means it's going to lead to Komoko learning how to survive an abyss magic attack. Right? Back to the episode. Demon lord is checking out Komoko's mom's mind. She sees the parallel minds and body parallel mind notices the demon lord she's like demon lord and she attacks the demon lord i was surprised she invades the demon lord's mind and that's where the episode ends it ends with body parallel mind invading the demon lord's mind it's like whoa what you gonna do in there what's gonna happen that was a cliffhanger that was a good cliffhanger this show's doing really good on cliffhangers now that was the ending the beginning of the episode shows the demon lord in the present time, 15 years later, present time. And she's talking to her subordinate and her subordinate is talking about how they're going to go through the labyrinth where the queen, 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 <laughs> queen Tartex are. And the demon lord's explaining, oh, those are my children. I control all the spider monsters. And in that scene, I'm thinking, wait. How come she has to explain that to her subordinate? Shouldn't her subordinate know that? Because she's the origin Tartek and she rules all of the spider monsters. Weird. Why does her subordinate not know her that well? There's some, something doesn't make sense there. Like, I think it's for us to figure out later on in the series and it's showing their relationship. I'm curious, and that was such a small scene. It was very subtle, but I picked up on it. And in that scene, when she's explaining that the spider monsters are her children and whatnot, all the queen heretics showed up. It's like, dang! And then they showed like the little spider, and I think this is the spider that was controlling the puppet spider. It, it matches. It, it looks like the pup. It looked like the spider that was inside the puppet spider. Let me know what you think about that. And then the demon lord, she's talking about how she controls all the spider monsters and she says, but one was being disobedient. There's one that she couldn't control. And you know what? It shows Lady Shield, Lady White. And that's where I'm like, oh my God, is that Kumoko? Because she's all white and Kumoko, she's all white. 
and Lady White has like a pink choker and Kumoko she has like this pink thing around her neck I don't know what to call it if you know what to call that pink thing around Kumoko's neck put it down in the comments and uh, there's that last scene in the episode where the body parallel mind invades the demon lord's mind so I'm wondering okay is Lady White the body parallel mind? Call me crazy! I don't know how that works, but they might explain it later on in the series. Mm -hmm. And that was my review of Soma Spider So What episode 17. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of Twitch and YouTube, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, the link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lei Hua, and this was a Super Fina channel reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 17. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.